Libra, my friends, October 15th and October 16th, this is your year ahead preview. My apologies sincerely for the wait. I'm already getting messages for October 15th as soon as I picked up your tarot deck that we'll be using, okay? October 16th, Librans, the timestamp for your read is down below in the description box or the comments. I'll see you there. All right, October 15th, yo, yo, yo. We have this Ace of Pentacles. Very aesthetically going along with the green stones, you know, I've chosen for the read. And then I open to Justice. <laughs> Ooh wee October 15th. What's what's good? It looks like you're coming into some type of I heard settlement. And do you know what's really funny? Right when I saw this Ace of Pentacles, even though you'll be receiving this either in the winter whether okay if you're in the northern hemisphere you're receiving this in the winter okay but what's funny is i heard cruel summer in my head as soon as your reading started it's a cruel cruel summer even though this card is clearly winter based so if you're in the southern hemisphere this is happening in your summer and it's going to be a cruel summer summer for someone, but um, not for you. It's going to be justice. Justice for your winter, summer, wherever you are in this world. Libra, October 15th. I hope you had a really happiest of birthdays. I do, I do. Wow. Justice and now Emperor. Okay, boss. All right, boss. Let's get into it. I'm talking to some boss October 15th Librans. The next three months, near future, October 15th Librans top card the four of wands what did i say about you coming into some type of settlement and um i don't really want to say inheritance because that's not the energy i'm getting i just feel like this is something that's been at play for quite a while maybe the past four years even this is going to fuel your new beginning with the full, the initiate at the bottom of the deck. This celebration, or this could even be, wow, confirmation, I did not mean to do that. This could even be your 1111. If you are currently in a relationship, I believe this is your person, you know, if you're happy, if you're not happy, if you're on the outs of that relationship, you could be meeting your actual twin flame soulmate, you know, I'm not, I don't really subscribe to the whole twin flame split soul type of thing, but I don't know. It could be true. Who knows? I just saw 420 on the clock. That could mean something to someone. But yes, there's going to be a courting here. You see him gesturing and she's like uh, doing a curtsy, right? There's a courting happening, a dance, a celebration, a coming together. Some of you with this celebration or this partnership 
could most definitely be initiated into a new lifestyle, a new life. And that's your next three months. Let's see six months from now. And time is fluid. This is just giving you an idea. Everybody has free will, you know. This is just giving you an idea. Next six months, October 15th, Librans. After tarot, I'll pull, I'm hearing two oracles. Wow. Yeah, okay. Look. <laughs> Look at the deck. Okay. So you got two cards for your next six months. We'll do it like that. Wow. Eight of cups with the ten of wands. Well. You're definitely turning your back on something or someone or even an energy. This is you taking on too much, Libra. All that responsibility. But you know what's interesting about this Ten of Wands? You made it. This Eight of Cups, you're turning your back on everything that... Um, you could have even thought you wanted this, okay? This is something that was built up. These eight cups have been stacked. Something was stacked here, but you had to turn your back on it and move forward, okay? And both of these cards is you turning your back to the past, truly six months from now. And I like this Ten of Wands because even though all this responsibility and burden was put on your shoulders, Libra, you did it. You did it. You did it. Effin did this. And look, you've made it home. And your property is looking very luxurious, very open, big. You want acres? You want a big house? You want a small house? on acres, whatever you want. You want to build a, a community? You're doing it. Or you've done this. Because you shouldered a lot of it yourself. I mean, it takes a village. But man, Libra, you took on a lot of it. Yep. Look at that. You took it all on. I'm telling you. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. You were like, if you saw people you loved suffering around you, like, you could have even laid hands. You could have healing hands. You tried your best to heal someone. You tried your best to take on the brunt, the responsibility. If anyone with this birthday or that's listening to this reading has someone that's crossed over, they're saying um, it wasn't your responsibility to begin with, please don't take on the brunt of this any longer. Release. Drop the wands. You were stressed. Nine of swords. You're like, let me take. But it's like, if not you, then who is what I'm also hearing? If not you, then who? And it's like, look at all these different people. 
Like, this is a different person in the blue. This is a different person in the red. This is a different person here in the bed. Bars. <laughs> but, um... You had to be everything to everybody. But just know you made it. All that stress, those sleepless nights, okay? Walking away from people, toxic environments, whatever, mindsets that no longer serve you. Nine months to this time, well not this time, but your birthday next year, okay? Your birthday next year. Nine months to your to um, October fifteenth, twenty twenty four. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on. Let me get it in frame. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw eleven oh one on the clock. Okay, you're not, I was going to say, man, you're doing a lot solo dolo because in the seven of wands, we see you here, you've made it, okay? Seven of wands is a card of making it, but you have to keep, keep fighting, keep fighting for your dreams, okay? You're not going to have to fight every day. Not every day is going to be hard. Please don't get me wrong here, okay? Don't think that because it's not. But what this card is telling me is you've made it to a higher level. All right? Nine months from now to October 15th of 2024. And again, the, you're up there alone fighting against multiple people. And at the bottom of the deck, though, this is good. We have the Three of Cups. So that is reassuring in your harvest, in, in this celebration of how far you have come. I heard your reach. So if you do something like in social media marketing, your reach is going to be really far, okay? If it's not already, and there's definitely celebration with a few of your real ones, okay? Now, I always see Libra as this person here in the middle with your cup toasted the highest because, again, you put in the brunt. You know, you did the major, a lot of the work, okay? A lot of the work. But you have a few real ones here that have been working hard, too, in their own respective lives, all right? You know, no one's, I'm not saying you're better than them or better than anyone. But, um, yeah, you've got a two, you've got two a few real ones with you, all right? And you're celebrating in this harvest together. But you did the daggone thing, Libra. What'd I say? You did it, you did it, yeah. I'm being guided to give you a channeled message before we get into your oracle. <laughs> what the heck? I opened the deck to you made it. Bingo. You are rich. On the money. Go have fun. And look what's behind it. What? Billions. Millions. Going up. Status. The goat. Wealth. What? Look. At the bottom of the other pile, wake up. So much more to know. So much more to see. See the light. Okay, spirit is speaking. October fifteenth, <clears throat> Librans. Some of you could have Big Brother watching or be involved in that confirmation. <clears throat> What's the message here, Spirit? Thank you. October 15th. Wow. Okay. And I felt like putting that on top of the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands because that was your six months energy. So if you feel like it gets hard, 
around six months from now, okay? Just know you are supported. Life is changing in a positive, smiley face, happy direction. Hold on tight. It's your destiny. 555. Five, five. At the bottom of the deck, we have nature, sunlight, exercise, water, gourmet, and organic. So they definitely want you to take care of yourself for sure. Okay, okay. Let's get two energy oracle cards. Tell me more about this four of wands three months from now for Libra. And then we're going to clarify the seven of wands nine months to a year from now. October 15th, born Libra. Metatron is in the house. Third eye popping. One more shuffle. Ooh. One of my favorite cards, that big red door, the door to value. That's more harvest. That's windfall. That's a windfall. And didn't I say with the 4 1 celebration? No, I was talking about the Ace of Pentacles and justice. I said, this is something that's been, oh, my ear just rang. This is some, oh, confirmation. This is something that's been coming to you for a while. Please clarify this four of wands. Oh my gosh, listen, you're going to have telepathic communication um, and uptake in that, okay? In that, your third eye abilities. Three months from now, your third eye is wide open and you may share <clears throat> either your connection with Metatron, with your angels, with the divine is going to be very exceptionally strong. Or you're going to, like, the telepathic connection between you and someone else is really going to increase. Yeah, and there's going to be some action <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. Movement. Also, I feel like, again, this is... um. They're courting, you know, he's courting her here. And I feel like the feminine energy here is, is leading the way, but not in a trying to overpower the masculine. No, no, no. The feminine wants the masculine to take the masculine role here. But what this is showing me is the feminine's like, come on, let's go. I've been ready for this. You know what I mean? Like, I've been training for this. And so have you, gorgeous stallion. Like, let's go. Oh my gosh, I love this for you. Okay. Seven of wands, nine months to a year from now. Well, nine months to October 15th, 2024. Nine months to October 15th. Clarify the seven of wands, please. Almost. <clears throat> Interesting. The thinking woman in my throat chakra just closed. You're going to be out, listen, <clears throat> you've outsmarted or you're going to be outsmarting these people that are coming for you, okay, in the Seven of Wands energy.
I heard it's brains, not brawn here in this fight. It's going to be more intellectual, right? Door to romance at the bottom. Someone is so intrigued by your by your mentee. 2022 20, as I looked up at the clock. So 222 two, two, and then I'm holding the master number card 33. Someone is so intrigued by your mentality, by your mental. How you think your knowledge, what you know, or how you how you grow. Wow. Okay, October 15th, Librans. That has been your year ahead preview. I hope you enjoyed. Again, my apologies on being a little late. Happy belated birthday. Stay balanced, stay blessed. Please give this reading a big thumbs up. You had such a good read. All right, you guys. Peace. October 16th, Librans. Hello, hello. Welcome in, my friends. My apologies. Thank you for your patience, okay? Thank you for your patience. My apologies. So here we have the hermit. I was really, really guided to use the magical dog's companion tarot, okay? I know not everyone is dog, um, are dog people, but there's still going to be a message here for you regardless if you are or not. And for those that are, there's going to be an extra special message I heard. Now, when I was putting the channeled message deck away from the last read, these two cards showed themselves completely different energies from the last read. Um, sociopath, psycho, obsessed, stalking, day and night. They lust and hate. Possible need for concern. And then we have focus ring her off, block them, me, myself, and I, no outside distractions. And I just heard in my mind that, um, give it to your angels, give it to your spirit squad, give it to God, whoever. Wow. Okay. They're, yeah. Whoever I'm talking to, you really have some stalking issues happening okay dm text email communication vpn Shh. interesting now let's look up angel number 2121 since we started your reading there before we get into your year ahead preview with the tarot and then let's see what oracle we use as well. Okay, I'm hearing messages from the mermaids. So that will be your oracle. All righty. Meaning of numerology 2121. According to Hindustan Times, angel number 2121 in numerology is a call to find harmony and equilibrium in all aspects of your life. Spirit wants you to find harmony and equilibrium in all aspects of your life. <clears throat> know that you'll soon be met with opportunities to grow spiritually and to fulfill your destiny. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, October 16th, Librans. You definitely have the knowledge, okay? You're going to have the skill set to meet these opportunities head on. Look at that. Cut the deck open to the magician. The mask.
the tools. You'll have the skill set. You'll have the tools. No worries. Aww. Earth Guardian energy coming in here. Definitely have the protection. Wow. Wow. Speaking of definitely having the protection. Look at this. Nine of fire. Look at the ancest the dog's ancestors behind him, supporting him. And we're also, I'm doing this reading on the Day of the Dead. And look at the candles. Um, for those of you that would like to do this, if you have some passed over loved ones, I just learned this recently last night in the live stream. For Libra land. Um, I was reading a card that I don't usually read from the booklet from <clears throat> an oracle about jack-o'-lanterns and protection. But also if you, I have those like little LED fake looking little votive candles. I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. I put one of those in the window because, you know, you don't want to really put a real votive candle in your window because your curtains might catch on fire and I'm not promote, you know, got to be safe. Okay, right. Be safe. Be safe. Fire safety. Um. Oh, my gosh. I just heard stop, drop and roll. Stop it. <laughs> my spirit guide's are funny. Okay. But seriously. If you want to go get one of those candles today, one of those little LED votive candles that looks like a real candle, but it's not, it's just battery powered and place it in your window. It just helps. It's like leaving the light on for your passed over loved ones tonight. Okay. Because they're all around you, whoever I'm speaking to right now, and they're protecting you heavy. All his kin and all those candles confirmation like a wall behind you supporting you protecting you truly let's go october 16th librans thank you for being patient for your year ahead preview let's get into it next three months october 16th librans born day october 16th next three months oh my gosh the star oh these are such oh my gosh this is these are beautiful readings like october 15th was good this is starting out really good wow and look what's back at the bottom double confirmation okay I have to read a little bit about this card. You have two major arcana. Wow, on the banks of the Nile River. Oh my gosh, I have chills. On the banks of the Nile. Look at the way the stars shine, that dog star. Oh my gosh, I'm speaking to star seeds. <sighs> A Basanji stands among the water lilies, swaying and swaying palms. Beyond her stalks, a sacred I ibis of thought. Her forepaws rest in the waters, representing her intuition, while her rear legs are on the earth, symbolic of her logical mind. Her gaze has fallen on the brilliant reflection of Sirius, the dog star, sacred to Isis, and herald of the life-giving floods. Above can be glimpsed 
the full constellation of Canis Major, the great dog. Its other seven stars, representative of the seven chakras of the body held in balance within her, just as they are balanced in the heavens above. You have made it through difficult times, and now with great relief, you come to a time of calm and hopes to be fulfilled. The lingering shadows have dissipated. They have no power over you. Faith in the future is lifted, and you are empowered as the dog star lights the way to your unfolding destiny. Better days are ahead. This is all about hope, peace of mind, serenity, divine guidance, inspiration, renewal, and destiny. Wow, that's your next three months. Let's read the Hermit because we've seen it twice now. A great mastiff stands at the entrance of his mountainous den where he has been holding a long, solitary vigil. He has emerged to share his knowledge with the others of his pack. Beside him stands a rustic tripod holding aloft a flaming oil lamp, signifying the light of truth. The legs of this tripod are fashioned in the form of a six-pointed star. What is going on with all this star energy? Wow. That is an ancient symbol of wisdom. Talismans of bone and stone are strung, hang from the star's points as emblems of power and authority. Removing yourself from the distraction of the pack is something sometimes needed in order to more clearly listen to your own inner voice. Deep questions fill your thoughts. A retreat to explore those questions can help you gain true insight. Many of us need downtime in order to recharge ourselves, enjoying the quiet and solitude for a bit while honoring your needs and your own wisdom. Solitude, introspection, meditation, inner guidance, quiet, wisdom, retreat, seclusion. Okay, that may be called for at this time or within the next three months. Whew. Wow, that dog star card really blew my mind. This abyss, ibis, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Wow, 3313 on the clock. Wow, <laughs> you, I'm really speaking to an illuminated um, star seed being here. It's like the hair on, um, the crane. It's like cranes in the sky. Do, 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 do. This is magic. This is this is divine. Next six months for October sixteenth, Libras, please. I have a video of an encounter up close and personal with a white crane. Follow my Instagram down below. Is it on my old? Oh, it might be on my old Instagram. That's okay. You can follow that one too because I got it back after a year of being hacked. My old one is about dot a s h l e y y and i know for a fact that video of up close and personal out in nature i wasn't at any type of zoo or anything like that i was out in nature on an island very similar to all of this card it, it just blows my mind okay anyways your next six months but yeah that's my only two instagrams my old one which i just got back 
a little bit ago about dot ashley with two y's on the end and there's a lot of fake accounts out there and scammers and then i also have my new account that i made <clears throat> the very end of last year i've had it for almost a year now astral dot ash and the link is in the description box below for that anyways four of earth oh my gosh how cute is he or she Four of Pentacles six months from now, October 16th, Librans. Wow. Oh my gosh, with the chariot. These cards are beautiful. Look at the huskies. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's like stability comes rushing in like you really feel secure six months from now look how happy they are i heard don't worry because he looks like stern and like you know oh i gotta save you know what i mean and i just heard don't worry be happy don't worry be happy now Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry. Ooh, 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 ooh. 36, 36. Be happy. Mm -hmm. I'm being goofy today. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just in high spirits, right? Good mood. Good energy. Top card. <clears throat> Tennis Sky, Sky Puppy, Temperance. With the Emperor at the bottom. Whoa. Nine months to October 16th, 2024. Fully in your power. Playing no games. And you're definitely experiencing a healing. Possibly from some type of ending. <clears throat> with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Sky with the Wolf. It's just like tearing into those arrows. It's like you and your spirit team just... Just tearing it up. Like... They thought they could kill the wolf. Nope. With Sky Puppy, that's the Page of Swords. I'm feeling like these attacks were definitely sent from... Immature It's like the wolf is too mighty, too strong. It's like well just look at this. What's what's this wolf to the to the puppy? You know what I mean? Like the wolf could eat the puppy. So these attacks came from puppies and you ended up transmuting them, okay? Or you will into this beautiful temperance card energy. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. The waterfall, the rainbow, the, what are those purple orchids? Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And then the emperor, it's like, come again. You tried it. They tried it, though. But to no avail. I'm being guided to read temperance.
Beams of dappled sunlight illuminate a standard poodle as she tests the water's depths with her paw. A cool spring emerges from a rocky face to cascade down into a sun-warmed pool, each fall presenting another level of consciousness. <sighs> you surpass these sky puppies, oh my gosh, in so many ways. October 16th, Librans, or whoever is watching this reading. Wow. <laughs> the blending of these waters signifies finding balance. Oh, okay. They are not, um, what did I say? Orchids? They're not orchids. They're iris flowers. Messages of the divine, symbols of love in all its forms, and totems of spiritual protection grow at the water's edge. A rainbow of harmony, blessings, and hope links the heavens to the earth. When you're able to practice the art of grace under pressure, wow, and what greater pressure than the Ten of Swords? It's like attempts on life on your life on your livelihood okay wow when you're able to practice the art of grace under pressure you can find your happy place with ease test the waters before jumping in appreciating all that life has to offer find harmony and fulfillment within yourself and the world appears to be a beautiful place. Calm pours over you instead of stress, and you'll find the balance to manage whatever life throws your way. <clears throat> balance, harmony, blessings, hope, enlightenment, renewal, grace, prudence, healing. Healing right after the attacks. From the sky puppies <laughs> from the watchers you know the the page of swords is, is a watcher card okay stalker even just someone trying to gather knowledge on you but when those three cards came out together and the emperor at the bottom just reading them as such you know okay six months from now with this four of earth let me just give you a real quick message. I'm not going to read the whole card, but I'm being guided. Okay. It can make you feel secure to have many possessions and wealth, but greed for more than you need or could ever use can actually make you feel tied down. Being frugal and conserving your assets for the future can be wise. Materialism that's not kept in perspective can make your precious valuables become more important to you than anything else, causing you to become inflexible, isolated, or paranoid. What are you holding on to that you no longer need? Worry about loss can cause inaction. Release those fears and your spirit will learn generosity. Your bounty is stable enough. You can find great enjoyment in a balance between stability and unselfishness. Six months from now, release of clutter, balance of priorities, unselfishness, and generosity. Okay. Let's get your messages from the mermaids. October 16th, Librans. That was a really good tarot read for your preview. It's just a preview and, and free will is always involved. And the later time goes, the more things can change. 4446, four, I just saw on the clock. Got quite a few angel numbers in your read. What would you like the October 16th born day Librans to hear about their year ahead? 
Thank you. Go with the flow. All right. With recognition at the bottom. Wow. Okay. Get ready to receive some um, much deserved recognition is what I'm hearing. You're going with the flow. Hold on a second. Let me see. <laughs> okay. There we go. Go with the flow. I'm here. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, wow. The deck just toppled over. Let go and go with the flow. You'll get where you need to be when you surrender and trust in the natural flow of life. This mermaid wants you to know that life can be more fun when you go with the flow. She's allowing herself to be carried along by the currents of the sea. She has total trust in the ocean to take her to wherever her destiny may lead. When we push against the flow, it can feel very tiring. This card tells us to simply surrender to the flow of life. It's about trust, trusting in your destiny and knowing that everything happens at exactly the right time. So try releasing any attachment to a particular outcome and allow life to take you in the right direction. Going with the flow means you spend less energy forcing things to happen. When we fully trust in our destiny, we know on a deeper level that what is meant for us won't pass us by. Is there a situation in your life in which things aren't going as smoothly as you wish? If not yourself, then perhaps someone close to you is experiencing an uphill struggle where every move they make has the opposite effect of what they wish to happen. If this rings true, then this card serves as a reminder, telling you to surrender to the flow of life and allow all the pieces to float perfectly into place without any struggle or force. Whatever your quarry, the answer is simply to go with the flow. This doesn't mean you're giving up or are defeated. Rather, that your lack of resistance will bring you a sense of freedom and completion. And be prepared to fully step into your power with the emperor and recognition. Libra, October 16th. Happy belated birthday, my friends. If you enjoyed these messages, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. Thank you for your kind comments. Thank you for your donations. I'm forever grateful. Stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.